Hi there and welcome back. So today I'm at the forest. I'm gonna shoot a cinematic b-roll sequence just using my smartphone. And I wanted to do this because not everybody has a DSLR or cinema camera at home. And I just wanted to show you what you can achieve just with a smartphone. So these are my tips to achieve such a sequence. First, I'll start with the location accessibility. If you really wanna make videos, but you don't have much time, go somewhere near you. Be it a city, a beach, or a forest, just like I'm doing. So try and be creative with your nearby surroundings, cause I'm sure you can make almost anything look good with some work. So the next tip I wanna give you is to use a manual or a pro mode on your phone. Uh, it gives you more control over your footage. You can control everything but the aperture. This way you can avoid the weird shutter speeds, focus hunting and so on. What you can also do is lock your exposure to avoid the phone under or overexposing your image on its own. And what I also like doing, if your phone allows it, is to shoot in a 21 to 9 aspect ratio to achieve that cinematic look. So the next tip that I have is to shoot in good light. Again, like I mentioned before, if you're tight on time, try and get out there at the best time to shoot. So if you only have one to two hours a day, then try and shoot in the golden hour and take advantage of the amazing light this uh, hour gives you. As the sensor on your phone will almost probably not work very well with low light or even with harsh light. The next tip that I have for you is to keep the footage as steady as possible. To do so, you can hold your phone with two hands. Probably the best way is to use four fingers like this and keep your elbows to your body so that when you pan, you don't move as much. So you can pan this way or you can pan like this and this way you will get the least amount of, uh, of shaky footage. You shouldn't worry that much because with these phones, Nowadays you can shoot a 4K and even 8K with this phone and it allows you to stabilize in post without uh, compromising too much of the image quality. My next tip is to get an establishing shot. We want to captivate our audience and to make it easier for them, you need to let them know where we are. This is why the establishing shot is so important as it helps you drive the B-roll story. So the next tip that I have for you is to try and get a variety of shots. If you're running and gunning, like I'm mostly doing, try and get a variety of shots that you can then choose from in post. Maybe try and add some in-camera transitions to make it a little more dynamic and yeah, get some steady shots. Steady shots are good, but moving ones are often better. Try not to just stand there and pan the camera. Get more dynamic shots, move with the camera and try and include some creative shots as uh, yeah, this will add some more production value to your footage. So the next tip that I have for you is to try and uh, shoot at high frame rates. Firstly, slow motion gets rid of slightly shaky footage when slowed down in post. And secondly, it adds a dramatic look to your footage. And third, it sells the effect that you're using an expensive camera. Another tip is to try and include a subject in your footage, be it an object like a tree or a person, this makes your footage look a lot more interesting. If you don't have anyone to film, you can film yourself. So my next tip is just to try and make it fun for yourself and for the audience. Uh, show some emotion, smile. Uh, you don't always have to say something or do something epic. My last tip would be to add some sound design to your footage. To do so, you will have to record it. So make sure your levels are 
correct you can do so in in the manual and the pro modes this gives your video some more uh, feel to it and lets your viewer emerge further into your content So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.